Hello, so this is just going to be a very quick, simple video on a Chinese Type 56 magazine pouch sort of webbing system. So this is a very simple sort of design. Lots of people will be familiar with this. Oh, it's caught my glasses. Look, uh, let's put them back on. But yeah, so um, basically, and I'll just point out right at the beginning of the video, sort of the rounds in the AK mag are inert, the grenades are inert, they're deactivated. And that's not dirt on the camera if people are seeing stuff in that sort of corner here by my hand. That's laser burns. Anyway. This was basically a Charlie Commerce and Chinese Communist um, sort of webbing system that is very, very simple, but kind of quite effective. Now, obviously, this is nowhere near as good if you look at something like this than sort of full-on webbing kits and what we have today where you have, you know, obviously all of the armor systems where you've got the webbing built onto them sort of for molly pouches and stuff like that. But for what this was at the time, it was very popular and lots of people still like them. So obviously you have a crisscrossing sort of design like that where you put them over your um, shoulders. And then at the back, I won't bother doing it now, you've got a little tie-up thing. There's quite a lot of um, third-party magazine sort of systems, um, pouches, you know, for like AKs, where they basically just copy this exact design and change it up a bit. So you've got these like little wooden cork type things which are what uh, hold the pouches down. And it's designed to hold three AK pouches. Now some of these I've seen seem to come with like an extra two AK style pouches on the side, others seem to have the smaller pouches which you can fit grenades in and things like that, um, or oil bottles, things like that, but yeah. So the point was that you could hold obviously by default three Kalashnikov magazines in here, um, but obviously lots of other magazines will fit in there as well. There's videos on YouTube where people will show you how to modify the pouches if you want to fit different size magazines in, but generally a 30 round AK magazine is going to be on the bulkier side of the mags. So they fit quite nicely in there, and obviously you've got the little toggle pouches there. Now, lots of people do say, obviously, the biggest problem with these are these little sort of toggle pouches, because, again, some things mean it's a bit difficult to do that up, and obviously under stress you might struggle to open and close these. It's probably easier to open than close, but um, so obviously I've seen videos where people have modified these by just putting a bit of Velcro there and a bit of Velcro there, so it's just a modern Velcro system. Um, but yeah, the, these are quite cool because, like I've said, they're, they're famous thanks to the Vietnam War because obviously the North Vietnamese Army and the Viet Cong were given loads of these. Um, so, you know, they're, they're very straightforward and simple. Now, the thing I like about them is just, I think, how straightforward they are because a lot of old webbing systems used to be quite complicated with, you know, the order you had to put stuff on the webbing and then sort of doing the yoke and everything else. Whereas, obviously, because these are almost like a one-piece kit, um, they're very good for basically going over whatever, and because obviously the straps are all adjustable, and the one you tie is adjustable a bit like an apron behind your back, you can actually fit these over lots of body armours. So that's the cool thing, it doesn't matter if you're really fat or you're wearing a big, you know, chunky piece of body armour that doesn't have a molly system on it, you can chuck one of these over the top. Um, and obviously you can use one as well, not to put AK mags in if you just wanted to use it for like carrying water bottles, although with these you wouldn't be able to fit a very wide water bottle in, but you know, again, you can cut the sort of pouches open a bit wider or whatever if you really wanted to. But they're just one of those kind of, you know, massively mass produced bits of military, you know, like carrying systems. But I think it's just one of the coolest ones in terms of how practical it was. And again, with modern Molly sort of systems, you know, like Alice Clipper Molly systems, sort of, um, rigging sort of things that you'd have on your armour these are pretty obsolete but for what they are I think they're quite nice just because as said as well you can you know use them with basically anything so if you have an old fashioned piece of body armour like a flak jacket with no system for attaching rigging to it you can literally just chuck this over the top and it'll work um, you know lots of people just use them for airsoft or stuff like that because again I think no matter what sort of airsoft gun you were using you'd be able to fit at least three airsoft magazines in this. I've actually got one of the, um, like, Miltech or whatever it is, do a thing that's a bit like one of these. It's probably basically a rip-off of one of these, but it's like three Velcro sort of ones of those, and then I think a couple of small pouches on the sides. And again, it, they all sort of copy this design just because of how popular it was. But as I said, the, the weakest bit about it is probably these kind of, like, little kind of buckles it uses, using, like, little wooden tabs. But as I said, it's very easy just to, you know, glue a bit of Velcro on if you want to use it with Velcro or buy a more modern interpretation of it that doesn't use that but I think for what it is you know bear in mind that you know one of the sides using it was one of the ones that defeated America and again not through straight up winning battles but because they um you know essentially it was an attrition war and eventually the US public and politicians lost support for Vietnam but it, it does give you an idea of sort of you know 
how useful something like this is because as I said if you see a lot of um, webbing systems from the Cold War or sort of like World War II a lot of them are either uncomfortable or quite heavy um, you know and this is just very simple which I guess is a reason it was quite light because you know I think a lot of soldiers would rather carry less ammo and have something that's very quick to take on take off and run around with as opposed to um, you know a system where technically you've got more stuff on you but it makes you very bulky and um, padded out because there is an interesting picture that shows um, sort of the differences between like a US soldier in Vietnam and the um, like NVA or Viet Cong and part of the point they were pointing out is that you know the US soldier carries much more equipment which is useful but that also adds lots of weight and bulk whereas the NVA running around with stuff like this on barely weighs anything at all so there you go.